Hi everyone. So today I'm going to take you in the first question in tutorial sheet one. Yeah. So make sure that you subscribe to the channel. Yeah, be because uh, every time I solve each and every question, if you have not subscribed, you'll be missing the what the the solutions. So I'm going to be solving all the questions in your tutorial sheets that are going to be having for mathematics. So just make sure that you are subscribed to the channel and subscription is free you don't have to pay anything for you to subscribe just click on that button which says subscribe uh, to this channel yeah just click for those that are using a laptop it's on the screen and then for those that are using phones it's just below uh, the screen all right so we quickly begin make sure that you're subscribed to the channel okay Yeah, so the first the question says uh, given that u is equal to negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then x is uh, x, let me start first by writing x, x is equal to the set of even numbers in u. So here we're going to list all the even numbers that are in u so that we know x. So the even numbers that are in u, we have negative 2, we have 0, we have uh, 2, we have 4, we have 6, and then, yeah, I think that's all. So we list them like that. So these are the even numbers that we have in, um, in, in the universal set. And then we also list uh, y. So y, we're saying y is equal to all the prime numbers in u. So the prime numbers in u, we begin to list them. We have 2. The first prime number that we have is 2. And then from 2, we have 3. From 3, we have 5. From 5 we have seven yeah so these are the prime numbers that we have in the universal set and then lastly we have that z z has already been listed there so now we begin to find the solutions for these given questions so to find a union a union y a union y is simple so we're starting with i the first question so A union Y is simple. Uh, you just combine, oh sorry, not A, X union Y. You just combine X and Y. So how do we combine that? So when you're combining the two sets, you don't uh, list uh, the, the, the common elements twice or maybe I don't know how many times, you just list them once. Yeah, so this, is, this one is simple. So, is nothing but you start with the smallest number which is negative 2 there from negative 2 we have 0 from 0 we have 2 this 2 and then we have 3 we have 4 and then we have 5 then we have 6 this 6 there and then lastly we have seven so this is how you find the first question we quickly move on to the second question so the question the, the second question is saying we find a intersection uh, y complement I mean sorry I don't know why I'm mentioning a we are finding X intersection y complement so complement can either be represented by a small letter C or just a, a, a pi. Okay. So A intersection Y complement. So the first thing that we need to find here is X intersection Y. I don't know why I keep on repeating the same mistake talking about A. So yeah so the first thing that we are supposed to find here is x intersection one so the intersection set the the common element 
between a and y when you look at y and x here the common elements in x and y we only have two yeah so two is the only common element let me just write it properly so this is the common element that we have so now to find our x intersection uh, y complement so our x intersection y complement will now be equal to we list the whole universal set excluding uh, x intersection y so meaning we're going to have negative 2 we're going to have uh, negative 1 we're going to have 0 we're going to have 1 we're going to have 3 we're going to skip 2 since 2 is part of that set and x intersection y so we're finding the complement of that set and then we're going to have 4 we're going to have 5 we're going to have 6 and then we're going to have 7 yeah so basically this is a uh, x intersection y complement yeah so we quickly move on to the third question okay the third question is saying uh, the third question uh, is requesting us to find uh, let me just draw a line here okay the third question is asking us to find x uh, intersection then we have y then we have the difference of y and z so y slash z can also be written as y minus z which is just the same as um, y intersection z complement so where there is uh, first we write x we have x and then intersection then where, where there is y slash z we can put y uh, intersection z complement yeah so the, 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 this is basically the meaning of that okay so now here we can now we know our x we know the x we have our x which is the set of even numbers yeah we have x which is the set of even numbers so now here what we're going to do is we will just find uh, y intersection z complement and then we intersect it with x and then before we find uh, this because what we are what we're supposed to start with according to mathematics to, the, to mathematics is what's actually in the brackets so we first have to deal with what is in the brackets and then we combine it with what is outside so now what we do is first we we list z complement so z complement what is our z so z according to the question is uh, is here negative 2 3 we have 5 6 so z complement is actually the what the elements that are not in z the elements that are in the universal set but they are not in z so we have negative one negative one is there is in the universal set but it's not in z then we have zero one two four seven zero one two four uh, seven so this is actually the the z complement so having found z complement we can now find y intersection z we first have to deal with what is in the bracket y intersection z complement this is what we're going to find and then after that we combine it with x we intersect it with x so y intersection z complement what is y y is simply this part here so we find the intersection set between this y and z complement the common elements between y and z complement so the common em elements there we have two and seven so we have two and seven 
so we write our 2 and our 7 there okay so now we finally find our final answer we find the intersection set between x and y intersection z complement yeah which is just the same as uh, x intersection uh, y uh, slash z okay so this is what we've been asked to find so now we find the common elements between this um, y intersection z and x so which one is our x let us find let us try to check uh, on y intersection z we only have 2 and 7 so let us try to intersect it with x 2 and 7 so 2 and 7 we only have 2 which is common between uh, this and uh, this there is only 2 which is common there so our x intersection y uh, slash z is nothing but equal to 2 so this is our final answer this is our final answer all right so now let us now finally go to the last question the last part which is the fourth question so the fourth question here is saying we find the cardinality of x union y so cardinality is simply the number of elements in the set x union y so cardinality is simply the number of elements in the set x union y so just go back to the first question because we we found x union y at some point which is here so x union y is is here so we just now find the what the cardinality meaning we just count the number of elements there we have one two three four five six seven eight we have eight elements so the answer for this part is just eight elements so we have eight elements that's so so thank you very much for watching today's tutorial video uh, make sure that uh, if you are not subscribed to the channel you subscribe yeah click on the that button which says subscribe click on that button make sure that you are always updated uh, with the information that I'm going to be posting on this side because uh, very soon I'll stop uh, sharing these links in the whatsapp groups only those that are subscribed to the channel will be able to access the word will be able to know and access uh, the videos on my channel so make sure that you subscribe to this channel it has really helped a lot of people ask the, the, the those uh, years that were previously at Ngush University they will tell you this channel has really helped a lot of people I've helped a lot of people to what to pass mathematics you are not the first you are not the, the first people that I'm trying to help now so please make sure that you subscribe to the channel and um, you see the notifications that are going to be coming whenever I post something on the channel yeah so you'll be able to to know uh, to say I have posted a question or what's this a solution to a certain question in any tutorial sheet it, it may be physics it may also be mathematics but mostly mathematics so make sure that you subscribe to the channel shalom shalom